Well, college students getting a free lesson, this one in safety, and it could save their lives. Now, this is the first of its kind, and it comes after several attacks on students, including the murder of ODU's Christopher Cummings earlier this year. Tenio Sykes, Katie Collette, live now at Old Dominion University with the details. Katie, good morning. Good morning, Don. This meeting targeted students from here at Old Dominion University, students from Norfolk State University, EVMS, and TCC. They all learned about preventing crime. The biggest lesson learned? Know your neighbors. It is a shared responsibility by the students in the community to, to know how to protect themselves. That's why these students joined Norfolk Police for a lesson that could save lives. You have a lot of students that have, you know, they're going to college, they're going away from home for the first time. and. Uh, you know, they may not be as aware as we would want them to be. This display shocked some of the students at the safety meeting. The colors on this map represent all of the crimes in a one-mile radius since March 18th. The crimes happened on or near the four campuses invited to the meeting. Because I think all students should take personal responsibility for their safety on campus. By doing so, ODU senior and director of student life Colin Rodino thinks the nearly 3,000 crimes on this map, crimes ranging from theft to murder, could decrease drastically. Students feel that it's more of the police department's job to protect them, and that's something that I think that I think the culture of that needs to change. Norfolk State senior Sergio McRae is a member of Spartan Patrol, a student-run safety organization. He has one goal for himself and his fellow students. I guess to better my my awareness. The main message by police, realize what is suspicious and know your surroundings. Advice these students plan to share with others, and so should you. It's okay to feel safe, but it's also your responsibility as a person to make yourself safer. Now the Norfolk Police Department plans to hold these meetings every month to get input from students. In the meantime, now that school is back in session here at ODU, Rodino plans to survey students about how they feel about their safety. Live in Norfolk, Katie Collette, 10 on your side.